So hi, my name is Cornelia Davis, and we are going to talk about agentic AI. Temporal keeps coming up in those conversations, and uh, what I want to do is share with you why. I want to start with this diagram, which shows you the call structure for rendering the Netflix homepage. It makes calls to microservices. Some of those microservices make downstream requests to other microservices. Now we're going to make, do a little bit of analysis and make a few simplifying assumptions. Let's say there's about 100 microservices in this tree. I think there's more, but let's make that assumption. And let's also assume that each one of those microservices boasts four nines of availability. That's pretty good. Sometimes we aim for higher than that, but that's pretty good. Now, I'm also going to make another simplifying assumption, which is that the network is reliable, which we know it's not. But that makes our analysis a little bit easier, so let's suspend disbelief for a moment. By the time we get to the Netflix homepage, we have already lost two nines of availability. What that means is 5,200 hours of downtime for the Netflix homepage per year. So that is an hour a week, which we know is unacceptable. So how have we dealt with that challenge in the past? Well, developers implemented a whole host of cloud native patterns to make up for that unpredictability. Patterns like managing state externally or doing retries. So let's turn our attention to AI agents. At a high level, they're pretty simple. We have an event loop, and in that loop, we make calls out to the LLM to ask it for direction. It's what is driving the flow of the application. At that direction, we might invoke some downstream tools, make, let's say, microservice requests. Then we might consult with the user, and then we'll go through the loop again. So drilling into the details a little bit here, you can see that, of course, in the upper right, we're actually making calls to an LLM. That's an API call. And when we invoke the tools, we're making downstream service requests as well, say to a microservice. But increasingly, those downstream service requests are going to additional agents, agents that look an awful lot like the one that you see on the screen here. Now, remember earlier that I said agents can call agents? Well, that isn't just a one-off. Increasingly, we're seeing agents calling agents who might be also calling other agents. Well, if you look at this, it starts to look a little bit like the Netflix call structure, right? Except one big difference. Notice that these nodes have loops. It's not just a microservice that is making a call to a downstream microservice. It's doing that in a loop. So where we had 100 downstream requests in the Netflix homepage example, we might have an order of magnitude, let's say 1,000 downstream requests. If we do the math, we are losing even more nines of availability in a scenario like this. And now overlay all the things that can go wrong Oh my gosh, I'm hoping this scares you as much as it scares me. So here's the punchline. AI agents need to deal with all the distributed systems challenges that we've had to deal with with cloud native apps in the last 10 or 15 years, except on steroids. And how did we deal with those then? Again, all of these cloud native patterns. But here's the thing. In the last era, we've made the developer responsible for those patterns. The developer had to implement, for example, externalizing state and bringing it back into a different instance. What I want to introduce to you today is that temp with Temporal, you get resilience as a service. You as the developer aren't responsible for implementing those patterns. You simply implement your application, your AI agentic application, as a temporal application, and you get a whole host of cloud native patterns for free. So which of these cloud native patterns do you get? Well, you get event driven. You write your code and behind the scenes, Temporal creates it as an event driven architecture. CQRS, yep, that's in there. State management, so you don't have to deal with statelessness yourself, in Temporal. Retries, yep, that is there too. So I invite you to take a look yourself. We've got a great sample application that shows Temporal used to implement an AI agent. And with that, I thank you for your attention. I would love to hear from you, and you can see my coordinates on the screen here. Um, one of the best ways to find me is on the Temporal Community Slack. I'm the only Cornelia Davis there, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much.